Welcome to the Italian Club in Werribee for the Geelong Night. This is bloody awesome. I can't stress to you enough how excited I am to have three of the, uh, well, probably greatest midfielders at the Geelong Football Club of all time. That wouldn't be overstretching it, would it? Nah, of course not. Hey, um, AFL, yeah, shut up, Geelong. What are you saying? God, get with the program. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome along tonight. Obviously, we've got three champions here. I'm going to get them right up. We're not going to muck around with this. All I wanted to say is welcome to the That's Good for Footy panel show. It's the only live and interactive footy panel show going around. It's where the fans meet the players and the players meet the fans. So, please welcome to the show our first panellist. He wears the number 14 on his back. Please welcome to the stage, Joel Selwood. We are Geelong, the greatest team of all. We are Geelong, we're always on the ball. We play the game as it should be played. Very good. Welcome yeah, no, along. Good to be here. Good crowd, isn't it? Great crowd. And it looks a fair bit of blue and white around, which is good. Which is really good. I like a bit of blue and white on a Geelong night. It'd be a bit strange to be seeing black and yellow out there, wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't like that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show our second panellist. He wears the number 35 on his back, Patrick Dangerville. We are Geelong, the greatest team of all. We are Geelong, we're Dang. always on the Good to see you, mate. Welcome along. Great to have you both here. And whilst you've got that applause going, what do you reckon? Yeah? Yeah, yeah let's go. Please welcome to the show. He's our third panellist. He wears the number four on his back. Please welcome to the stage, Gary Ablett Jr. We are Geelong, the greatest team of all. We are Geelong, we're always on the ball. How good is that? Don't you just want to savour that moment? Get your phones out. Take the camera shot. That is bloody awesome to have these three guys sitting on the uh, the one panel. Uh, Gary Ablett Jr., welcome to That's Good Footy Panel Show. Nice to have you here for the first time. It's good to be here. Good, good to, to be, be in Werribee. <laughs> <laughs> like a good fist pump for Werribee. Yep, right on. Uh, Paddy, welcome along. Joel, great to have you here. Same, mate. Um, it's just awesome to have you three um, all sitting on the one panel. So what we're going to do, gents, we're going to have a little bit of fun with these guys. We're going to let them meet you. You're going to meet them. We'll see how the night goes. We're going to introduce it with what we like to call footy talk. Talk to me. Talk to me. It's, it's awesome, right, because Patrick and Joel have done the show before, so they're used to those intros. Gary's going, shit, man, what the <laughs> hell's going on here? You'll get used to it, mate. It's all a little bit left to centre, but, but it, it'll make you hopefully smile a lot, and that's all we want. Uh, let's talk a little bit of football, boys, and I'm going to go through it individually because you've got... Well, there's lots to talk about, really. Um, Joel, you recently signed uh, a contract. You've re-signed yeah, with the Cats. Yeah, I did. Uh, re -signed chance to get just around. before Christmas. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, New which deal. is nice. Um, obviously, oh, I still had a couple of years to play out, but uh, lucky enough, Steve Hocking and, um, had a little agreement before he headed away that uh, he got, got it done. So um, really happy to be around, sticking around for a little while and um, trying to help the two of them out and, and the rest <laughs> of the boys. <laughs> where I can. I, yeah, I don't know I if can. there'll be much need for me, but uh, we'll yeah. see. Yeah, not much need for a captain, is there? Um, Danger, you have an idea. Please share with us. Uh, and there's lots of things to talk about. But you have now an idea about a 34-game fixture. Can you allude to the people your thoughts and process on this? I've been smashed for this. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I like the idea of a 17-game season, but the problem is you've got to get the uh, majority of players to take a 20% pay cut. And... Uh, <laughs> Gaz has come back for peanuts. He actually wouldn't have any peanuts left if he uh, <laughs> if it went down to 17 games. So we've sort of got to thought maybe doubling it might make it easier. Yeah. And do you think that it's got? Obviously, you've put the idea forward, so it's got merit. But do you think it'd be something that the AFL would look at? Um, well, I don't think 22 games is fair. Yeah. Because obviously, there's there's teams that you play twice, and and that makes it um, makes it difficult. Um, but my idea was sort of if you played 34 games but played 18-minute fixed quarters, yep. you'd play about 300 minutes less than you would in a 200, in a 22-game uh, home-and-away season. So yep. less footy, um, 
and we experienced that with the international rules this year, you actually don't pull up as sore because yeah. the game's over really quickly. So um, it would make a lot of football, um, but you could go um, back at sponsors and, and networks and, and really drive the revenue that way. Yeah, good. Nice little rationale. Uh, uh, yeah, fine. Um, Gaz, I wanted to ask you, um, gee, there's a lot of talk about you're 33, your dad played till he was 38, I've had these niggling injuries all throughout my career. Why are you focusing on them now, even though I'm a little bit older? Is that your thought process on it? Is that, like, how, how's the body holding up? How are you feeling? In front of all the Geelong faithful here right now, what would you like to tell them? Well, first of all, Paddy, I don't know about this 34-game season. <laughs> yeah. I've, uh, I've, averaged, I've averaged 14 games over the last three years, <laughs> yeah. so uh, I'm, a, I'm a fair way off that. But, um, no, look, the, the body's feeling really great. Um, yeah. You know, it's obviously great to be back at a great football club, um, being nice and close to family. Yeah. Um, and I've really enjoyed this pre-season. It's it really been great working alongside these guys, meeting the younger guys. Um, I guess just getting out on the track, learning a bit about Geelong's game style, um, yeah. how they go about things. And um, I think a lot of the guys are really excited about getting into uh, into games now. We've yep. obviously got the, the pre-season games coming up and then uh, round one, which I'm really looking forward to. Absolutely. Um, your stamina, it looks fantastic at the moment. You're zero to 100. You know, you could t take on a GT Ford Mustang. You're, you look that, that, that fit out on the track. Is that... Are you feeling that for yourself? <laughs> yeah, sorry, we'll get used to it. I told you. <laughs> That's nothing. What am I signing myself up for here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling fit at the moment. Yeah. I, uh, I put a lot of, lot of time in the off-season into getting my body right and, and making sure that I was ready for day one of pre-season. Um, I hadn't missed too many sessions uh, up until last week, but um, I'm feeling really good now. I, d I did a solid running session today, and I'll continue to build that up and, uh, and get ready for the preseason games. Fantastic. Has that always been the goal to make round one? Well, you know, like if you got the JLT, you'd be happy, but round one was always the ultimate goal. Ideally, I'd like to get a game in. Yep. Uh, that's the plan. Um, okay. So we'll see how we go. The plan at this stage is to play the second one um, and then obviously get ready for round one, but uh, it'll be up to Scotty. Um, you know, who he wants to play through those games. But, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, round one, round one's a focus um, and really looking forward to it. Good on you, mate. May I also ask you, what was it like getting back down to Geelong and pulling the hoop on? How did it feel? It was great. Yeah, I yeah. know what you thought it felt what like. Was that? <laughs> he said it was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> No, it, it really has been great. I mean, the, the, the club's changed a lot. I can remember walking in there day one and, and uh, you know, I was given a tour around the club and, and uh, it's incredible how much it's changed. I was trying to, fi trying to figure out where everything used to be. Yeah. Um, but obviously having guys like Joel around who, you know, I played with uh, seven years ago, um, he's been really great, um, you know, just introducing me to everyone and, and really making me feel at home. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed my time so far and I'm just really looking forward to getting into the games. Yeah, mate. Great answers. You've got to love that, don't you? Yeah. Um, boys, there was a photo taken with all three of you at Geelong Photo Day, down at Geelong, obviously. Um, can I ask, was it rock, paper, scissor for who sat and who stood? No, we just get told to do <laughs> yeah. some, some silly things at times and um, it just worked out that it was the way that it was. I looked at it and I thought, I wonder if they're like, uh, whether you were thinking, Gary, come on, guys, you know, like, sh I should be sitting down. It was nothing like that. It was all about the media. They were telling you what to do, where to sit. Wow. Oh, yeah. All right. I really we're thought that... We're puppeteers, Damo. We're puppeteers. <laughs> yeah. Um, Joel, you've had a pretty uh, busy social calendar um, from, let's go, from post-grand final, heading off to where? Jeez, you've had... Uh, uh, no, I went to America. And right? uh, it, was, it was a great... It was a boys' troop, basically, with my partner. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> lots, lots of sport uh, and just doing the American things, you know, yeah. not, not eating overly well. Right. Uh, but uh, that was good time and then come back and I don't think I've been too social, but I do enjoy having a bit of fun and relaxing throughout this period. In three weeks' time, it sort of shuts off again for, yeah, um, for, sure. for another 30 weeks. So. Yeah, but you caught up with Gaz um, at Staples Centre. You were at the basketball, is that correct? Yeah, yeah that was yep. uh, my last night there and Gaz's second last night. So we were running out of gas at that stage, yeah, weren't right. we? And, uh, but it was good to catch up. We, yeah. we didn't see too many familiar faces yeah. uh, over that time. So to see a familiar face. And it was off the back of the mess, just Gaz had signed probably maybe even a week or so just before. So... Yeah. Um, we're pretty excited to see each other. Okay. It was a nice hug. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> the things that you got up to, though, you were like Deliveroo. Um, oh, you're yeah, at Tom Hawkins. <laughs> yeah, yes. you and Tom. Uh, 
I enjoy doing things with Tom because he, he's good to have a laugh with. So uh, anything Gentle where giant. we can sort of take the mickey out of each other, we try and do. Yeah, yeah. Um, you went to the races, the basketball, um, breweries, um, everything's happening. Your social media calendar is just going off. Instagram, who controls that? You or...? My partner yeah. uh, or my manager. Yeah. Uh, no, mainly me. Yeah, okay, it's, yeah, it, good. It's authentic, so uh, mainly me. Um, right. Yeah, don't follow Brett. She uh, puts a little bit too much up there <laughs> okay. at times. And lying on a, a, tros- a hospital uh, trolley with, you know, showing what yeah, you... No, yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, yep. All right. her off the bike, that yeah, one. Cool. Come off the bike. Uh, danger. Now, everyone knows that you love your fishing and your surfing. In the off-season, how much fishing have you got up to? How much surfing have you got up to? There's a couple of questions in here. What's the biggest fish that you've caught? of late and what's the best surfing spot that you've been to in the off season uh, i hadn't done a huge amount of surfing i had a quick back before okay. chrissy so i'd uh i'd sort of been beached for a while yeah um i went up to a place called grid island off darwin in the off season and and uh and shot a fishing show oh yeah so we're up there for about two weeks oh. which was uh pretty gung-ho and pretty full-on uh, the biggest fish up there was a couple of meters long a sailfish so oh. uh, it was a a busy off season. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, so surfing not as much. You didn't get out. How's family life now? How's? Well, maybe that's got a bit to do with why <laughs> yeah, you yeah. get out as and much. So life. Like... No, family life's good. George yeah. is uh, he's eight months old, so he's a little terminator. He yeah. eats and chews and pulls on everything. And <laughs> um, most parents talk about how special their kids are. I think George is special, but maybe for the wrong reason. So <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> Good answer. Um, Gary, I know you spoke about it at the start. I just wanted to ask you, now that you're back in Geelong, how wonderful is it to have family around again? Are you, and, like, you're able to go to your favourite eateries, your favourite restaurants, your favourite places again. Is that, is that what it's like? Is it like, I hate to use the terminology, but is it like an old man climbing into a warm bath? Is it like that for you? I don't know if it's like that. But it's, uh, <laughs> no, look, Ge- Geelong has changed so much. My, my mum's actually living down on the surf coast where I grew up, so she's okay. still on the same block that... Um, yeah, that we grew up on, um, you know. So it, it's just great to be back, back down around mum. Um, Dad spends a bit of time in Geelong, a bit of time up in country Victoria with his family. Yeah. Um, my brother's just moved back down. He's going to play uh, footy locally Nathan, um, down around Geelong, which is fantastic. Oh, that's really good. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he's, uh, he's, he's really happy and in a good place. And, um, and my sister's back down in Torquay as well. So all the family have moved back at the awesome. same time, yep. which is really great. And uh, just looking forward to spending that quality time. Great. With him. Really good. I'm very happy for you. Um, can I ask you, where's your favourite place to go in, in Geelong? Or is it around the Ballerine Peninsula? And I don't want... You, we're not doing this for stalkers or anything, but, like, where, where, where do you can like to go? we talk about this after? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe I should have asked this backstage. But, like, what do you do to chill out? Like, where do you go and find your solace? Yeah, um, I'm a real beach person. Okay. Um, so I head down to Moggs Creek whenever I can. Okay. <laughs> Try and find Paddy down there. <laughs> knock on the door. He never answers. <laughs> You can see his eye looking through the people, though. Head, <laughs> sort of, the sun shines off it. <laughs> yeah. um, or out of it, maybe. I can't, I'm not sure it is. Maybe out of it. <laughs> oh, touche. Yeah, sorry, no, Gary, I've, dr- I've driven through Morgs Creek a couple of times. <laughs> but, um, no, I, I, just, I like getting down to the beach. Um, yeah. My mum's around the corner from Bells Beach. Spent a lot of time there as a kid. Yeah. So it's always great to get down there. Um, a, lot of, a lot of my mates that my, I grew up with are still... Still local surfers, um, so you're just spending quality time with them. And uh, my dad's actually been playing a bit of golf lately, so I've been getting out there with, oh, with him and having a hit, um, yep. which I've been really enjoying. Um, so yeah, I mean, is it competitive? The golf? Very competitive. Bloody oath. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hand, um, handicap between he and you? What's? Uh, I, d- I don't have a handicap. Um, okay. But, He's Gary uh, Ablett, he doesn't have a handicap. Do yeah. he? No, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Yeah. Interject. Uh, but my dad's not bad, so he, uh, he gets me 90% of the time. Okay. Um, are there any, would there be bets going on in between holes? Not for anything monetary, I would presume, but, you know. <laughs> I could imagine there's, if there's very... no bets going on. Pride's on the line. Okay, and, pride. Uh, yeah. Pride. Pride's <laughs> enough. That'll do. That um, boys, this is for all three of you. It's an open forum here. We've got all these lovely people here, Cats fans especially. What I'd like to ask you is how do three elite champions of the AFL, as someone rightly pointed out before, how do you find you all being able to gel and what's the best way that you can see the attributes that you can all bring to the club to play football together? How do you see all this happening? Well, we're, we're unsure <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> right. And we haven't been out there and we haven't had the chance to do it yet. But um, yep. 
you know, the the thing about the three of us that all works is that we're really good team players. Yep. So um, put the other stuff aside and they have a lot of tricks, much more tricks than any other players in the league and more tricks than me. Um, but, you know, we'll just try and make it work. Some weeks it will, some weeks it won't. We, yep. we will try and win every week this year, but we won't win every week. We can tell you that now. Um, but we'll, we'll have a crack. And yeah, like I said at the start, we're unsure how it will work. Yep. Um, at times we'll be in the same part of the ground. At times, you know, some will be forwards. Yep. I'll play back um, <laughs> on Eddie Betts or someone like that. And, uh, is this and true, Patrick? Is this true? Uh, he might back? play back, but I don't think he'll play on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but please, I, I want you boys to share, um, as I said, when you've got the Geelong Cats fans here, it's wonderful for them to get a little bit of insight into not the game plan, but just the thought processes that might go on in training. Um, and as I said, I don't want to talk about game plan, but just to find out whether you think there's going to be more time spent down in the forward line, maybe for yourself, Gaz, or uh, more free up you more time uh, in the midfield. Is that sort of... Has there been any discussion around that? Um... Oh, it's been a little bit. It, I think um, everyone wants to play forward when the ball's going down there consistently, don't they? <laughs> yeah. uh, you're happy to get down there when, when things are going well, but when things are tough, you, you want your, your better players around the ball. And there's, there's more than just those sort of three midfield positions to fill those with. Absolutely. There's half forwards that come up the ground, there's wingmen. Um, so, so we'll be pretty fluid in that respect. Um, I think one thing that will help us is that we're all contested ball players. So yep. if the worst thing that um, can happen is that we get in each other's way at different stages, then that's sort of a good thing. Like, we won't really second guess. It'll, there'll be some times where we won't get it exactly right. Mm. But um, I think when you have good players around the ball, good things happen. And um, it's been great to train with Gaz. I, I don't know if he's got some sort of radar, but he has a, a magical ability to be able to find you with handball when uh, not many... People can, so wow. um, it's been good to learn from him. Jeez, I just got goosebumps on my arm thinking about that. That's uh, just to know that you've got Gary Ablett somewhere out in the field and slick out a handball and watch you watch it go. Yeah, well, you know, let's keep it clean. Um, but I think it's fantastic in order to, to, to just even to be able to sense that that's, that's going to be the future for the Geelong Football Club is awesome. Um, you have your first JL, JLT game coming up um, March the 4th, which is obviously uh, on this Sunday, against the Suns um, in Townsville. Uh, great time to sort of bleed a lot of the young boys in. Is, would that be the thought process from the coaching staff? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, I don't think Scott has really uh, spoken to too many of the guys about uh, who's kind of in and out. Obviously, he's got... Um, you know, there's probably 22 guys that that uh, that he's picked, but I, I think we'll send up a few emergencies. Um, we've had some young guys that have really impressed this preseason, yeah. um, so they'll obviously get some some game time through the preseason games. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think too many of the senior guys are going to be playing in the first one. Yeah. Uh, I think you see most of those guys will we'll try and play a stronger side uh, yeah. in the Colac game. Okay. Um, but the boys are just really looking forward to it. It's, yeah. um, you know, it's a great time of year. It uh, feels like the pre-seasons are getting longer every year, so we're just right. really looking forward to getting into Excellent. it. Excellent. And you lead into just talking about on March 11, uh, you're going to be playing the Bombers down in Colac. must be great to be playing on the Bellarine Peninsula and having all the Cats fans easy access. I know you play at, you know, Cadenia Park, Simmons Stadium, all that sort of thing. Nice to be going down playing the Bombers in Colac, get a few of the country folk out to <laughs> chew on some straw and watch you from the sidelines. No? No, no. yes. Yeah. No, it is. It is. It is yeah. always good to go down to Colac. Joel. Uh, Joel tends to speed when he's driving out of Colac. But um, <laughs> too, two yeah. gags and two Responsible weeks serving out. I knew I should have driving. answered that question. Yeah. You get stupid answers if you get them to stupid people sometimes. So. <laughs> but yeah, March 11, we're down there, so I'll take over and looking forward to it. Yeah, good, good. Nice, nice, very assertive answer, I like it. Hey guys, uh, you kick off your MC, uh, well you kick off uh, round one, uh, March 25th, Sunday, MCG, the Demons. You must be really chafing at the bit to get out there and have a go at the MCG. And Melbourne, who have looked like they're doing all right at the moment, you know, they're putting in a pretty hard off-season, but isn't everyone out there at the moment. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, apparently they're flying, so they keep reminding everyone of. So, 
Um, so oh, with the Bombers look, too. Mm. Everyone, uh, everyone's travelling well this time of the year. You won't hear too many clubs saying we're not looking forward to the start of the season and yeah. we're in that same boat. We'll give that same generic answer. But um, it's one of the very few games of the only game really that you have six months to prepare for. So yeah. um, we'll be well prepared by the time we get to them. We're not underestimating that we've, they've got some really talented players on the list and obviously have added Jake Lever to the mix as well. So... Mm. Um, we're playing at the G. It's a great um, venue to play at, and we need to continue to play it better than what we did at, at stages last season. So, um, you know, it's always a, a great occasion to get back into footy, and everyone's looking forward to it. And you can just tell that enthusiasm that's bubbling under the surface at the moment. Wonderful, excellent. Um, we've got Sandra out on the floor. Are you out there, Sandy? Have you got some some questions? We're just going to take a couple of questions from the floor, boys, whilst we've got the opportunity. Um, we've got a here we go, there's a mic. Where's the uh, first question coming from? Who have we got there? Only one want to raise their hand and ask these three champions a question. There we go, this lady right here. This is Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Hi. I've seen Danger on many times on television and he's so articulate. Is there anything you're not good at? <laughs> I'm actually not that articulate. I just um, speak a lot next to Joel. Um, <laughs> And it just, it's it, got bad hygiene if you come close to him. <laughs> Not quite the answer you're expecting, Leslie. Oh, I do like to take the piss out of him. I love you. I love you. Excellent. <laughs> well done. What have we got, Sam? I've got little Campbell here. Hello, um, Campbell. I saw Joel Selwood at the beach. Shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> we went for a swim. We did down at Bowen Heads, Campbell. Good on you. Nice. Excellent. Good statement. Yep. Good. I like it. Uh, just this lady just in here, Sam. Just in here. There we go. Karen. Hello, Karen. I just want to know how much weight Gary Ablett's lost. He's looking great. Ooh, how much weight have you lost? <laughs> Do you want me to take my shirt up? <laughs> oh, 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 an exclusive. Wow. No, I... I haven't lost too much weight. I've just, uh, I've just been training hard and uh, paleo diet. Check it out. Wow. <laughs> All right. One last question. Okay, I've got a Carlton supporter here. His name's Arthur. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, whoa, whoa, hang on. Patty. Obviously, the scanners weren't working on the way in. All right. <laughs> Patty, how come you didn't come to the Blues? <laughs> oh. uh, I was saying. Aren't you glad you asked that question in a room full of Geelong supporters? That went down an absolute treat. Um, have we got one more, Sam? Is there just one more there? Okay. I've got Steve. Hello, Steve. Uh, this is to, to Joel. Joel, how did it feel when the Tigers finally beat you, mate? Yeah, uh, it, it is a fair question because it, it was the first time that I lost to him um, in the final and I was probably one of the reasons because I played horrible that night. Um, but to be honest, we were playing horrible the whole game and we, was, we had a kick um, late in the third quarter to put us in front, didn't we? And um, if we hung in there a little bit longer, maybe it could have been a different story. But it wasn't, and they went on to do what they did. And uh, good on them, because we wanted it to be us, but uh, we'll just have to have another crack, uh, 2018. Excellent, excellent. Um, Paddy, do you remember we did a show down at the Barwon Heads Hotel, um, Barwon Club Hotel? And um, I asked you that particular night, do you reckon Gaz will be coming to Geelong? And you went, yeah, mate, it's a done deal. And I was like, Did wow, I? really? <laughs> oh, it was what said in the room, stays in the room sort of thing. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And <laughs> it's now come to fruition. How good is that? I know, I'm telepathic. It's quite yeah, extraordinary. Well done. Yep. I'll ask Paddy for some more advice on the 2018 Grand Final later. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that's our questions for the boys. That was our footy talk. Can you put your hands together for them, please? Thanks, boys. That wasn't too hard. Just a little bit of an introduction, as I said, just warm yourselves into it. We, um, we want some contestants to come up here and get involved with uh, the boys. Um, basically, all they have to do in, in order to be part of it is just sit up the front on a stool. So I'm sure there's some people out there that are putting their hands up going, yeah, I'm into that. That little boy there that just put his hand up. Uh, that little boy there with the Geelong, you're holding, yep. And your mate right next to you. Yep, those two. So those two, you three kids, come on up. Take a seat anywhere you like up the front. There you go. 
That's good for footy, the family show. No, they won't need that. That's fine. Thank you, darling. All good. Um, what we're going to do here, boys, um, I'm going to introduce a segment. You three gentlemen down the front, you're going to be playing for these three, all right? So you have to keep score, and you have to be honest about how you keep score. We don't like any cheats at this game, at this, uh, well, for this particular game. So what's going to happen is I'm going to ask these three boys, oh, look at that, ah, who wouldn't want that? Um, I'm going to ask three, these three boys a series of questions, and you have to keep score each time they get one right. It's really simple. That's all that has to happen here. I'm going to introduce it. This segment is called Who Can It Be Now? The way that this works, I'm going to ask the boys, you boys have to use your microphones and your name as the buzzer. All right? So can you test your buzzers, please? Joel. Danger. <laughs> Gazza. Ah, excellent. All right, get used to it. That's what you're going to hear. So, boys, I'm going to, what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be reading a bio of a particular player that plays at the Geelong Football Club currently. All right. And what you have to do is identify, be the first Gaz one... Gaz should have got around to meet a few of the boys. <laughs> yeah. uh, I was, si uh, similar to I his old man, he wouldn't have known some of his teammates. Uh, Can I tell you, I was thinking this uh, when I this wrote this. <laughs> Better come out and... Um, so what's going to happen here, I'm going to read the reverse bio, and at the end you have to tell me it is. But the first one in, with their buzzer, yeah. wins. All right. I was born on the 1st of December 1990. I debuted in 2010. I've played over 90 games of football and kicked just over 60 goals. Danger. <laughs> I was in your buzzer. <laughs> oh, oh I probably got it wrong. No, Zach you Smith. You have got it wrong. Jordan Murdoch. You've got it wrong as well. <laughs> My junior club was Berry. I was recruited from West Adelaide. I wear the number one on my back. Who am I? Gaza. Gaza. <laughs> Reese Stanley. Yes, all right. That was nearly a Stephen Bradbury moment. I like that. That went down quite well. Well done, boys. Uh, one, one point to you. Congratulations. No cheating. I'm watching. Um, I was born on the 23rd of October 1996. I debuted in 2015. I played over 30 games of football and kicked just over 20 goals. My junior club was the Southern Districts. I was recruited from Northern Thunder. Danger. Danger. Corey Gregson? No. <laughs> I wear the number five on my batch. <laughs> Nakaya. Nakaya Cockatoo. Polly Farmer. Well done. Polly Farmer. Yeah. 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 Wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be amazing? Polly Farmer down in the forward line and these three. Wow. Um, I was born on the 20... Uh, so, you've got a score then. All right, I'm cool with that. Yeah, all right, sweet. I was born on the 28th of March, 1991. I debuted in 2013. I played over 100 games of football and kicked just over 25 goals. My junior club was Sunbury. Joe. Joe. Uh, Cam Guthrie. No. <laughs> I wear the number 46 on my back. Danger. Danger. Mark Goodsales. Correct. All right. So how are we going there for scores? One, one and one. Told you not to cheat. Any sons plays in this? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, all right. I was born on the 12th of June, 1986. I debuted in 2008. Joel. Joel. Harry Taylor. Correct. Well done. This is good. All right. Here we go. I was the born. The 80s. I like the 80s. <laughs> it makes it a little. Makes me feel a little bit better. I was born on the 21st of July, 1988. I debuted in 2007. I've played over 200 games of football and kicked just over 420 goals. Danger. Danger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thomas. Tom Hawkins. Tom Hawkins. Well done. There you go. All right. I was born on the 2nd of March, 1996. I debuted in 2017. I've played five games of football and kicked just over three goals. I've played footy with the Mount Gravatt football club in Queensland. I was number 69 in the 2015 national draft. Yes, John. <laughs> <laughs> Wiley Buzzer. Who is it? Wiley Buzzer. Yep. Well done. Correct. All right. Two, two and one. Oh, all two. Hey, it's me that's two cheating for two now. 22. All right. Here we go. I was born on the 19th of August, 1992. 
I debuted in 2011. I played over 115 games of football and kicked just over 35 goals. My junior club was Sunbury. I was recruited from the Calder under 18s. Gaza. Gaza. Cam Guthrie? Yes! All right. So we've got three, two, and two. All right. We'll see how we go here. We might come down to the wire. <laughs> Here. All right, here we go. I was born on the 26th of May, 1988. I debuted in 2007. I played over 249 games of football and Gaza. kicked just over 140 goals. Gaza. Gaza. Captain Courageous. Yes. yes. Joel Selwood. So diplomatic, he actually said it's me and then handballed it over to him. You've got to love that. So what's the score? He's quite vocal Getting about his score, score as well. isn't he? I like that. <laughs> really uh, happy with himself. This is for the win. I mean, you've basically got it, but we'll see. Here you go. I was born on the we'll 15th of March, out. 1993. I debuted in 2017. I played over 20 games of football and I've kicked one goal. I played football with South Barwon Football Club. Gazza. Gazza. Tom Stewart. Excellent. There you go. Guess what, little man? You win. <laughs> That was awesome. Hey, uh, there's a little prize back for you. It's a stubby holder. <laughs> Sorry. Give it to Dad. He'll love you for it. Uh, there's one for you, little man, as well. And uh, for you, that's yours as well. But on top of that, I'm going to give you a $30 voucher to come here and have some, <laughs> have some to eat. Yeah. Have a Pepsi Max. Congratulations, boys. Thanks for being part of it. Well done. All right. What we're going to do here, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a little segment. We need uh, two contestants to come up here. Who's interested? That little man there. And did I see... Where? One with the hat on. Black top. Come on up. Excellent. Well done. Take a seat. Uh, what's your name? Tyler. Nice to meet you, Tyler. And we've got a little gentleman coming through here. His name would be... Oh. <laughs> ah, not Lisa. Nice to meet you. Yeah, well done. Uh, what's going to happen here, boys? I need you to. What you're going to do here is I'm going to ask a question to all of these boys. Um, but I'm actually asking it to you. But you've got to give me hands on head for true, hands on your bum for false. Do you understand? Rules are pretty simple. Jeez, you look like Tom Hawkins. <laughs> Don't you think? Am I saying things? Oh, yeah, he's not yeah? a bad looking yeah, well, not to mention Tom Hawkins is not ugly either. Um, so what's going to happen is you boys just have to put your hands on your head when it's true, hands on your bum when it's false, all right? You ready for the questions? Patrick's birthday is the 4th of April, true or false? Oh, no, you can't, no, no, that's not an answer. You've got to get you, hands on your head or hands on your bum? You can stand up for it because I can't see whether you've got your hands on your bum or not. So you're going that it's true and you're going that it's false. Yeah, is that your answer? It's actually false. Okay, it was the 5th of April. Yeah, okay. Don't, don't get angry, anyone. Keep it all cool. Joel was born in, in Bendigo. Is that true or false? Both true. It is true. Well done. There's your score, see? The boys are keeping score for you. Gary Ablett Jr. is a three times premiership player. True or false? True and false. That, that's not an answer. You got to, yeah. False is correct. He's only a two-time premiership player, 07 and 09. Patrick made his AFL debut in 2007. Probably should have got kids that were probably a little bit older than, you know, nine or ten. But that's, that's my fault. Um, Patrick made his AFL boo debut in 2007. True or false? True and true. It's actually false. He made it in 2008. Gary Ablett Jr. won the Brownlow in 2009 and 12. True. Both false. Both false. Hang on. True and false. You got no idea. I like that you're giving an answer though, and that's that's well done. It makes the segment go better. Um, it's false. Okay. It was 13. Joel's birthday is the 26th of May. Is this true or false? I can't believe it. I'm asking this to these two. They go. What are you? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> anyway, it's the 26th of May. Is it true or false? True and false. It's true. All right. Whew. Patrick is a four-time All-Australian. True or false? Yes. 
true and true. It's false. He's five-time old Australian. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, Joel debuted in 2007. True or false? It's true. Yeah, well done. Joel was a five-time All-Australian. Is this true or false? <laughs> thought about it. Uh, so you've both gone, it's true. It's false. He's a six-time All-Australian. Joel has won the Kaji Greaves medal, Geelong's best and fairest, twice. True or false? True and true. It's false. He's won it uh, 10, 13 and 14. Here you go, here's your last one. How are we going for scores here? Five versus three. Well, not bad, boys. Okay, here's your last one. Patrick won the Brownlow medal in 2015. True or false? Standing upright's not an answer. <laughs> what would you like to do? Hands on your head or bum? You're both on bum? It is false, 16. There you go, we've got a winner. We've got a winner. A six. Tom Hawkins look alike, you're our winner. Um, you can actually take this, that's yours. I hate giving out stubby elders to kids. Um, really bad influence. Um, there's a $30 voucher as well, okay? Be good with that. I'll look after you after the show. I'll come and give you a little present, okay? Oh. Oh. Come on. Um, thank the two boys for coming up and playing, please. It wasn't too bad. All right. We want two people that know a lot about the Geelong Football Club. Who reckons they know a, a, an absolute plethora of knowledge about the Geelong Football Club? Current day players. Who's out there? Quick. That gentleman right there. And I'm going to go for a little bit older. Where? And this gentleman right here. Beautiful. Can you two come up and please take a seat? Sam, we need a clock for this one. Come on up. We need to give them a microphone. We've got... Uh, a lady coming through here and a gentleman here. Uh, no, it'll be all right. Thank you, Glenn. Wonderful. Um, who have we got here, please? Karen. This is Karen. Karen and... Tom. Tom. Tom, please take a seat. Jeez. Face the audience, because they would really love to see what you look like. That means turn around. Mm, no, yeah, that's it. Are you on your seat? Hey? Very comfortable. What has to happen here... The, the, uh, the gents are going to keep score for you up here. It doesn't matter whoever wants to pick up the paddle, guys. It's a very elaborate scoring system. I know you know that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be reading out the player's number and you have to give me their name. All right? That's what you have to do. And you've got 30 seconds on the clock. Who'd like to go first? You would? Nice. All right. What a gentleman. Are you ready for it? Are you ready to start? I haven't got a mic. Oh, Sandy? Oh. Oh, nice little ploy, I Thank like you. that. You go first, but she's holding the mic. Yeah, well done. I'm going to call out the number, you give me their name. Okay. Time starts now. Number one. Rick Stanley. Correct. Number two. Uh, Zach Tui. Correct. Number three. No, I've got a blank. Brandon Parfit. Number 33. Uh, no. No, George Holland smith 34. No, to James Parsons. Correct. 35. Paddy. Correct. Number seven. Uh, Harry Taylor. Correct. J oh, number eight. Uh, Colin Jason. Yeah, well done. Uh, number nine. Uh, How'd we go? Six. We have to go with six. Didn't get to flip it over. Not a bad effort. 30 I'm seconds on deep, the clock. I'm in deep trouble. You're in big trouble? I'm in deep trouble. Can I have an assistant? Could be worse. It could be St Kilda night and you were Can at the I wrong show. Can I have an assistant? Can I have an assistant? Do you want to trade out? Uh, no, no, oh, no, just just an assistant. No. No. Uh, no. Come on. no. Do you want to trade out? No, you can't. Do you want to no. trade out, Leslie? Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. 14? <laughs> God help you if you're not. Great support there, Leslie. Well done. I like that. Uh, are you ready? You've got 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to start with yours. Number 21. Guthrie. No, Jordan Murdoch. <clears throat> Number 22. Um, uh, Duncan. Yes, correct, Mitch Duncan. 14. Uh, that fellow sitting up there. That'll do. Uh, number four. Uh, Becky, but he's not there anymore. Come on, give me a break. Mm. Hamlet. Oh, my ah. God. All right, there we go. Number 16. They'll get used to you soon, mate. Number 16. Uh, Sella, Scott. 
Yeah, that'll do, Scott Sell. We'll give an extra point. You got three. Oh, no, you got two? All right, you got two. You, you, Leslie, guess what? You were right. It was shocking. Um, well done, though. Well done for having a go. Uh, you're our winner. Don't worry. I'll look after you after the show as well. You were just a nice support. Um, here, take that to keep your head warm. Well done. You, uh, that's all we wanted to hear. And thank you for saying so. Very nice to have you up here and be part of it. All right, uh, give us somebody over the age of maybe 40 or 50. We're looking for two people that are around about that age. I'm seeing a hand up down the back there and, and another one very close to the gentleman with the glasses. Both of you, if you could come on through, please. Come up and have some fun with the boys. No. All right, uh, you both need... Um, please pull up a seat. That's it. You're in front, so you move forward. That's beautiful. Well done. I'm not going to give you a microphone for this. You have to use a buzzer. All right? It'll be your name. So, your name, sir? Richard. Richard, can you test your buzzer? No, you, that's it. <laughs> you are your buzzer. So go, Richard! Buzzer. Okay, buzzer will do. Oh, and? Dan. Ten? Yes. Test your buzzer. Ten. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Can I get you both to turn around that way? Because yeah. it's just all well, these lovely people want to see you. I'm sure they do. Don't you? Yeah, okay. All right, what's going to happen here? The boys, you don't have to do anything, boys, but keep score. I want you to buzz in as soon as you know who this person is. I'll introduce the segment. It's called Who Are You? What's going to happen here, boys? I'm going to give you nicknames of players. Uh, this is over the journey, all right? So it doesn't have to be current. It's just over the journey. So I'm going to start with your first one, and you buzz in as soon as you know. Boomer. There we go. Richard. Yeah, OK, all right. Don't be afraid to shout it out. Um, push up. Uh, no, you have to say buzzer first. <laughs> yes, yeah, well done. Who is it? King. Yes, Jake King, that'll do. Tomahawk. Buzzer. Yep. Tom well done. Buzzer. I like that. All right, Tom Hawkins. The Flying Dutchman. Buzzer. Buzzer. Paul Thank you for helping. Well done, well done. The Hawk. Uh, King. Buzzer. Yes. Uh, Hawkins. Yes, well done. Beautiful. Conan. Conan. Yes? Uh, Gary Ayres. Well done, mate. Beautiful. Son of God. Buzzer. Buzzer. Yes, wonderful. Excellent. Uh, Leaping Leo. Buzzer. Buzzer. Just his name will be fine. That'd be lovely. Thank you all the same. Um, hungry. Buzzer. Yes, Buzzer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can throw, say their all name if you want. Um, the Doc. <laughs> buzzer, buzzer, buzzer. No, it was buzzer. <laughs> All right, uh, spider. Buzzer. Yes. Uh, Everett. 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 Yeah, or Matthew Burton will do. That's good. Fig Jam. Buzzer. Nathan buzzer. Buckley. Nathan Buckley. I won't ask you what it stands for. <laughs> All right, we're not going to do that. Um, we'll go on very quickly. The Reverend. The Reverend. No takers? No, buzz it out. The mm. Reverend is Neil Danaher. Polly. Oh, yeah, Richard. Polly Farmer, well done. G Train. Buzzer. Fraser Gerrick is correct. How are we going there, score wise, boys? Nine versus five. Richard, you're doing all right, mate. Um, Spud. Buzzer. Yeah, or Michael Fredo will do. And we'll finish up with we've got three more to go. T shirt. Any takers? No. T shirt was Tommy Hafey. Buddha. <laughs> He's just shouting them out. Yeah, yeah. We're going to give that one to you, Tan, all right? We've got two more. The Smiling Assassin. 
Buzzer. Brad Johnson. All right, here we go. Missed the last one. Um, Bristle. Oh, but yes. Excellent. What we finish up with? Eleven versus seven. Richard, you're our winner. <laughs> just a little bit of light entertainment, boys. Thanks for shaking hands. Continue to have a conversation. We'll just have a chat up here as well. Uh, thank you very much for participating. Take one of those. I always like to give them to the gentlemen that are not quite, you know, I don't have. And, and there's another one there. Thank you, Richard. And thank you, Chan. Thanks for playing. Thanks for having you up here. Well done, boys. Thank you very much. See, it's not all about you guys. We like to get them involved as well and have a little bit of interaction that way. What we're going to do now, though, guys, this is about you. We're going to uh, get you to answer some one-word questions. Um, this is called What Can I Say? All right, boys, grab your microphones. Um, you can give more than the one-word answer if you want, but it's uh, totally up to you. As I said, the segment's called What Can I Say? It doesn't matter where we start, but we'll go anywhere. Um, would you like, like to see State of Origin return? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Unanimous. Good. All right. Um, what are your thoughts on AFLX? Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. I like it. All right. Pre-season games are? Gaz doesn't know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pony me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't stick, mate. Um, your answers. <laughs> uh, for the young. For the young. Okay. Right. In Colac. In Colac. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Do you like round 23, the buy round? I haven't been there for a while. <laughs> Joey yes, still I out. do. Yes, you do. Helped me out last year. Yeah. Yes, because it helped Joel out, which helped <laughs> us out. <laughs> we needed round 23. <laughs> Excellent. Um, should a super goal be in home and away games? No. No. Yes. No. Oh, no, yes, no. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Travelling into stadiums. Gaz doesn't do that either. So. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in a 34-game season. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's enjoyable for us. Yeah. And, be, and I'll answer for Pat, too, because he's got a son now. It's very enjoyable. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't Two wait. full sleep. <laughs> Check out the fixtures straight away. Um, <laughs> well done. I'm with you, Gaz, mate. Right on. Cheap uh, shots. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ringside seats. Um, should Tasmania have a team of their own? Yes. Yes. No. Oh. Oh. Too small. Too small. Okay. All right. Um, Thursday night footy is great. Yeah, I like it. More footy, the better. Yeah. All for it. Okay. Thursday night footy is all for it. Cat supporters are the best. The best. Very much so. Yeah. The best. The best. Well done. <laughs> All right. Your thoughts on a Twilight Grand Final are? I'm for it. Yeah, I think that's the, the logical next step. Okay. It's, it's, I want to keep it where it is. Okay. Yeah, good. All right. I like it. Um, what is your fa favourite ground to play on? Yeah, no, GMHBO Stadium for you out there. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Uh, yeah, GMHBA Stadium, but I think um, I think Perth might be a bit of fun this year. Yeah, looks good. Looks really good. Colac. <laughs> They're going to love you when you turn up. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell. Oh, yeah. Um, being an AFL footballer is? A dream come true. Excellent. Yes, it is. It is very much a dream come true. Beautiful. Good answers. <laughs> I'll just stick with them. Oh, I love it. I love it when the captain oversees it and he just goes, yeah, I like it. Uh, I'm We're going to work well together, aren't we? Yeah, We're I can see it. No, you go get it. No, you go get too it. Much. So, uh, it sounds easy. <laughs> All right. An AFL coach's job is? Shit. Excuse the French. Excuse the language. Yeah. But um, tough. 
toilet. Yeah. Tough, 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 tough. Let's go with that. Uh, your thoughts on Good Friday football? Yeah, I like it for the reason that it's more footy. Okay. Yep. No, um, I don't mind a week where there's no footy on a Friday. Okay. All right. Good Catholic. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have my fish. <laughs> that was the last time you went to church. Christmas time? Yeah. I actually go to the same church as Frank, and Frank always puts in a gorilla every Christmas. A $100 note. Oh, like, wow. With a collection plate. Nice man. Well done. Guess what do I'm, you think? I'm sitting on the fence. I'm happy. Either. Okay. All right. Um, playing for the cats is? Well, I was like Gaz. We were junior cats, so... Mm. Uh, Dream come through and you didn't support anyone, so... No, it's, I tell everyone I supported Geelong, but I didn't really. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go with that. Um, the catch this year will finish. Doesn't matter where we'll finish, it's the fact that we'll be playing in the last game. That's got a bit of a snarl about it. I like that. Well done. <laughs> Did you want to say anything about that, no, Cass? No, no. no, good. I think all right. It perfectly. What he said. <laughs> yeah, all right. When you see a poster or merchandise of yourself, what do you think? They better oh. sell a few of these. <laughs> <laughs> I actually tried to go and get a hat um, in the pre season with Gaz on it, the return to train in, <laughs> and they sold out. <laughs> I couldn't really? believe it. I thought this would be a great I've got a few at home if you need one. A few in the boot of the car if you want one sign. Yeah, well done. Um, Joel? Uh, well, if it's not, not the Geelong travel ads, then I'm OK with them. But <laughs> <laughs> if they're them, I'm just wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> Excellent. Um, what is your reaction when you, when you see a kid with your number on their back? Is that Andrew Matthew or me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. All right. I'm thanking God because I haven't taken the one off to make it a number four. <laughs> <laughs> I generally quiz them if they've got 14. I'm not going to sign that until you change it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, this is a, probably a lay down as this one. I'm, in fact, I'm sure it is. How excited are you all about round one? Not excited at all. No. <laughs> it's not overrated round, one, round one. Yeah. <laughs> Only had, yeah, yeah. Very excited, yeah, jumping very out of your skin. Um, do you prefer, prefer boardies or smugglies? A uh, smuggler. Budgie smugglers. Boardies or budgie smugglers? What do you prefer? Boardies for me. Boardies? It's only like, because we've been doing too many leg weights and yeah. the thighs are rubbing Depends together at the moment. Man. So. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't a pleasant sight. I'm more of a wetsuit sort of person. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm boardies. Boardies. And okay. rashy. <laughs> And Rashi. And Rashi. And and I'm not, a, nat I'm not, I'm so not a natural tanner, so I'm going to look after this <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, last one, boys. Have you ever tried a South Melbourne dim sim? Yes. Yes. And? Fantastic. Fantastic. Delicious. Delicious. If I did, I can't remember. Wow. No, you would. Might have been a late You night. would. Yeah. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's the boys doing What Can I Say. Can you please put your hands together for them? <laughs> It's pretty amazing, guys, because that's like, we've just done an hour and it just goes like that. Sign off now. On March the 2nd, which is tomorrow night, uh, we're heading down the highway to Morwell. We're doing a show with Dustin Martin and Trent Cochin, uh, live from the Italian Australian Club in Morwell. Uh, doesn't matter, it was sold out in 26 minutes, so it's all cool. March the 10th, we're uh, heading off to Bendigo Stadium um, to do the show with Dustin Martin, uh, live from Bendigo Stadium. March the 14th on Wednesday, this is when our pre. Uh, this is now our home and away season. Uh, those shows kick off. Our first show, uh, March the 14th, is a night with uh, Richmond's Jack Rewalt and Daniel Rioli, live from the Village Green Hotel in Mulgrave. On March the 21st, uh, we're heading down the highway, going down to Corio. Um, March the 21st, a night with. Well, I haven't spoken to them yet, so we'll finalise it. But we're going to be down in Geelong. On March the 28th, we're doing a show with Dyson Heppel and Zach Merritt, live from the uh, Skyways Hotel in Airport West. So if you liked what you saw tonight, as I said, rate us, review us. If you didn't, don't tell anyone, because no one likes to win you, do they? Um, but if you had a good time, tell your friends, get them to come along, because as I said, two current day players from each of the clubs all throughout the year. We've got 30 shows to, to go from March 14 right through until the end of October. Oh, sorry, until the end of September. Um, the shows are live every Wednesday night. If you like, get onto the Facebook page. All I need to say now is, my name's Damien. Please thank Gary Ablett Jr., Patrick Dangerfield and Joel Selwood. We've had a great time. We thank you very much. See you all soon. Good night. Thank you.